morning students welcome to physics class today we start first chapter of physics that is matter we have seen that so many thing near about our surrounding for example ship car house train fan window door table chair they are all matter so first we explain what is matter here i have one book when we put this book on table it cover some area that means it cover some space and when we hold the book we feel some weight that means it has mass so we can say that anything that occupies some space and having a mass that is called matter gold silver iron copper all the metals are example of matter vacuum love are not matter now we study the definition of matter on the basis of some investigation 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 first take a spring balance and an old plastic bottle cut the cut the lower end of cut the cut the bottle into two parts the lower end of the bottle convert into beaker shape and suspend the beaker from hook of spring balance after that note the empty no not the empty beaker weight that means note the weight of empty beaker now we fill beaker with sugar and again note the weight of beaker we noted that it shows more weight that means we can say that sugar has weight sugar has mass we know that sugar is the form of solid so we can say that solid has mass solid has weight repeat this procedure by using milk and water we notice that it shows less weight as compared to previous material so we conclude that solid and liquid have weight and have mass now we take second investigation the aim of second investigation is to prove that gas has mass first we take simple balance with string and ruler tie two air filled balloon on the on the both side both ends of the ruler at a particular distance from the edges balloon a at 1 inches balloon b at 11 inches now we see that both balloon are fully filled with air and stretched v bust bust the balloon a with pin that means bust the balloon a by pin or needle what happen we see that balloon b with air fill till down so my question is why because balloon b has mass due to presence of air then the empty balloon a so we we can say that gas has weight that means gas has mass start next investigation investigation 3 the aim of this investigation is solid and liquid occupy space 
first we take a overflow jar put it on wooden block so it achieve a certain height we take a glass stopper or a stone tie the stone by thread now place the dry beaker on the surface under the spout of overflow jar now we fill the water in the overflow jar till the spout we see that the overflow jar filled with water so gently dip the stone which is tight with thread in overflow jar so what what happen we see that water start overflow from spout and yet collect in beaker placed under under the spout so what change in we see that the level of water in overflow jar is reduced that means is it is decrease then we take out the stone from overflow jar and pour the water of beaker in into overflow jar so we observe that the overflow jar filled till the level of spout so we can say that solid and liquid occupy space as we know we stay in home due to lockdown so we start this investigation with the help of available materials in our home let we start here we take a pot with spout and we take a dry glass this is a empty place the glass under the spout then we fill the water till the spout now we take a stone tie the stone with thread we see that the pot is filled with water so dip the stone slowly what happen we see that water come comes from the spout and collect in the glass so we can say that the level of water is decrease in pot now we take we take out the stone from the pot and pour the water in pot so we notice that the pot is filled till the spout so we can say that solid and liquid occupy space from above investigation we conclude that first all material bodies have weight and hence have mass second all material bodies occupy space for these two conditions are necessary 
for substance to be matter so we can then again define matter material which occupy space and has mass my next topic is physical classification of matter or states of matter on the basis of physical classification of matter or states of matter it can be classified three states first solid second liquid third gas two new states are also discovered plasma and bose einstein condensed state but in our syllabus we study about the property of solid liquid and gas before study the property of state of matter one thing that you must keep in your mind is each and every matter made up of tiny particles called atom and group of atoms called molecules so first we start solid in solid all the particles are closely packed with each other here we draw the diagram the particle are very closely packed with each other in solid i m f a is maximum i m f a means enter molecular force of attraction is maximum in solid i m s is minimum i m s means enter molecular space is minimum we start the property of solid or characteristic of solid first it has definite value here we have seen chair a heavy bag put on it does the volume of chair change answer no because we know that in solid all the particles are closely packed with it, with each other that's why it has fixed volume means it has constant volume second it has definite shape we see book marker cup chair table do they change their shape answer no my next question is why because they are all solids they have fixed boundaries they have definite shape so we can say that it has definite shape third it may get heat solid like salt or sugar they cannot flow they get heat so again i repeat all the property of solid first
सॉलिड हैज डेफिनेट वॉल्यूम सॉलिड हैज डेफिनेट शेप इट कैन नॉट फ्लो एंड लास्ट वन इज इट कैन नॉट कंप्रेस्ड